mechanical keyboards are a great choice for anyone who wants a more enjoyable typing experience. They offer a ton of customization in terms of look and feel, and they are more durable than the traditional membrane keyboards. In today's video, we're going to be focused on brand new Red Dragon Caraxes Pro K644 Special Edition. Now, if you're like me, you're probably a bit of a keyboard nerd. You love the feel of a good mechanical keyboard and you're always on the lookout for the latest and the greatest models. Hi, what's up guys? My name is Adam and you're watching Family Pop TV YouTube channel. The Caraxes Pro Special Edition is definitely worth checking out. It's got a great build quality, feels amazing to type on and is packed with features that I'm really excited to check out. I'll be testing the customization of the hot swappable switches, RGB backlightning and I'll test how it works with various devices such as PC, Mac, iPad and Android devices. Let's take a look at what's in the box. We have here the Caractus Pro itself, which looks really compact, and I like the color combination. There's the quick start guide, a gaming leaflet, a keycap and a switch puller, and a USB-A to USB-C cable for charging and for the wired connectivity. And in this little black box we can find four red switches with two pins. Let's start with the design. The keyboard is really compact, which makes it perfect for taking on the go. It's also really well built, with a solid frame and sturdy keycaps. The Caraxes Pro K644 Special Edition has a unique feature that I really like, 1.2 times larger keycaps. This makes it much more comfortable to type on, especially for people with big hands. The keycaps are also made of high quality ABS plastic, which is durable and resistant to wear. Another thing I like about this keyboard is that it has three connection options, Bluetooth, 2.4 GHz radio control wireless and wired. This makes it versatile and compatible with a variety of devices. The Caractus Pro is a great keyboard for customization. It's hot swappable so you can easily swap out the switches to find your perfect typing feel. If you're unfamiliar with the switch types, the blue, red or brown come down to personal preference. If you like the classic clicky sound and feel, you love the blue mechanical switches. If the speed is your consideration, you should stick to linear red switches or yellow switches and for mix of both, go with brown. Simple. The switches are plate mounted 3 pin designs. Swapping keys and switches is very easy, making this an inexpensive, easy to work keyboard. The switches are compatible with Cherry MX switches, there is a wide variety of options available. You can mix and match switch types or you can stick with a single type. The larger keycaps are ABS double shot designs with cross pattern connectors underneath. They are more durable than the standard keycaps and won't fade as easily. The only downside is that they are not widely available so it might be a bit problematic to find replacements if you need them. However, if you can't find them, they are a great option for those who want a more comfortable typing experience. Now let's test the keyboard's connectivity. And before we carry on, make sure you're subscribed. First, the wired connection, which is the most reliable option, but it's also the least portable. I've already connected it in wired mode and it's working great. The 1600mAh battery will charge while it's plugged in and it should take around 1.5 to 2 hours to fully charge. Once it's charged, you can expect to get around 8 hours of average use before it needs to be charged again. To quickly check the remaining battery level, just hit function 1 and spacebar. The level will be indicated by highlighting the F1 to F9 keys. If the light green, the battery has still enough power to run a few hours. We already hook it up in the wired mode, so now let's try the 2.4 GHz dongle. There's no software required to plug in as Windows and Mac OS detect the keyboard automatically. The RC wireless mode with the 2.4 GHz dongle is ok. Initial testing was done on my desktop PC. I found the keyboard worked fine within the range of 4 to 5 feet of the dongle, no missing keystrokes and the connection was very stable. Please note, the RC connection is slightly faster than the Bluetooth connection, which we're gonna discuss next. Right, for the Bluetooth connection, you'll have to switch it on the underside. I will try it with the iPad Air first. The keyboard was recognized straight away. 
The keyboard can be connected up to three Bluetooth devices at once and you can switch between them quickly by pressing Function and Q, W or E. I'll explain the use of the function buttons in a minute. It all works smoothly, no missing keystroke, no signs of latency. It should work the same way with any iPad and any iPhone. Now let's block my Android phone, following exactly the same steps as before and confirm the pairing on the phone. The keyboard was recognized straight away and I was able to type without any problems. Now let's try some racing game. As you can see the keyboard automatically connects to my phone and even shows me the key combinations I need to use. This is taking the Android gaming to the next level. It also works great with the Android tablets. The keyboard is being recognized straight away. Now let's connect it to my iMac via Bluetooth. Again, it connects instantly and is very stable. The Windows key acts as a command key on a Mac. Other than that, I have no complaints, no missed keystrokes, everything just works like a charm. Personally, I prefer the Bluetooth connection over the wired or 2.4 GHz dongle. By the way, I found that the keyboard was accurate even from 14 to 16 feet away from my testing device. The function keys 1 and 2 are your gateway to the K644 hidden features. As mentioned earlier, function 1 helps you switch between the Bluetooth connections but also adds extra functionality to the keys such as page up, page down, insert and delete. All the special functions are printed on the keycap so you can easily identify them. There's also a second function button which is mostly used to switch the backlight modes. The keyboard offers 19 different backlight patterns and these are selectable by pressing function 2 and F8. Function 2 pressed with F10 turns on and off the keycap backlights. Function 2 with F11 dims and F12 turns up the brightness of the backlight. You can also customize the backlighting and colors for individual keycaps which might be super handy for gaming. You can highlight any key which will be easy to identify. All you have to do is press Function 2 and Backspace twice which switches the keyboard into a learning mode. This is indicated by blinking caps lock key. Now press the selected keys once or multiple times to achieve different colors of the backlights. To switch between your customized backlights and the pre-programmed RGB backlights, simply hit function 2 and F8. And to recall your customized layout, hit function 2 and backspace. And finally, the FN key can also be used to lock the Windows key. This is great if you're in the middle of the game and you don't want to accidentally hit the Windows key and minimize your game. To lock the Windows key, simply press Function 2 and the Windows key. To unlock it, press Function 2 and Windows key again. So there you have it, a quick rundown of the keyboard's hidden features. This is the keyboard that doesn't require any software to use. However, if you want to customize your keyboard to some degree, you can download the Red Dragon keyboard programming app from the Red Dragon website. The app is compatible with PC computers only. Once you figure out the user interface, which is admittedly a bit daunting at first, it's reasonably powerful, allowing to reprogram all the key assignments and record the macros. Overall, I think the software is a great addition to the keyboard and it makes it even more versatile. I recommend checking it out. The double shot keycaps have a nice scooped shape that's comfortable to use for both high speed touch typing and gaming. The included switches have a decent feel and a quiet, unobtrusive sound. Once I got the keyboard connected in wired mode, the performance was solid and no keystrokes were lost. But if I use it in wireless mode, I need to get used to tapping a key to wake it if I'm away for more than a few minutes. This is because the keyboard goes into a low power mode to save the battery life and it takes a fraction of a second to wake up and reconnect. Responsiveness is excellent and as you would expect, the latency was undetectable in a wired mode. I also didn't notice any latency when playing games in 2.4 GHz or Bluetooth mode. Competitive gamers might want to opt for the wired connection, but I couldn't detect any lag with any of the connections, so I can't argue with the superb responsiveness of the K644's red switches for playing action games. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it pretty informative and useful. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss when the next video comes out.